Hello folks and welcome to today's semi fun packed episode where I thought I would go into a little bit of detail on my findings on the Model 3 power conversion system um, IPC CAN. Now what we have here is uh, page 21 of the 2018 Model 3 left hand drive wiring diagram. And we're most concerned with this X420 uh, connector here, which is our um, kind of data connection from the high voltage controller, uh, HV controller, to our power conversion system. Now, if you're just joining us, uh, we have been trying to work out how to communicate with the power conversion system uh, over the last few videos. So, what we have here from the top down is our PCS ISO VCC. And there's a 5 volts uh, signal, well, power supply, that is sent from the high voltage controller to the PCS. IP uh, the IPC CAN PCS TX is a transmission from the PCS to the high voltage controller, which is CAN, but not transmitted uh, with the usual um, CAN transceiver. It's transmitted uh, from an ISO... 7741 uh, digital isolator chip so it's basically a 5 volt TTL signal. PCS enable L is the kind of wake up signal to the PCS and we typically pull this down to ground not this ground but battery chassis ground uh, to turn the PCS on. These two PWM enable signals, uh, PWM enable DC DC and PWM enable charge are also fed into the same ISO 7741 chip and then head off into the PCS logic. Uh, here we have CP CAN transceiver positive and CP CAN transceiver negative which turns out to be standard high speed CAN at 500k uh, P is CAN high, N is CAN low, and this seems to be the same uh, charge port CAN, I believe the CP uh, stands for, but I'm not certain. It's the same charge port CAN as you will see further on down where the high voltage controller connects to the vehicle. Uh, PCS ISO ground is basically the ground for all of these signals and for the well with the exception of the enable signal of course and also the ground for the 5 volts uh, VCC supply. IPC CAN PCS RX is the receiving side of our IPC CAN pair so we have TX here we have RX here and we get 5 volt TTL level signals coming in on, the, on this pin and going out on that one. Now, for your viewing pleasure, I have rigged up a Sailey Logic Analyzer here. Um, and we will hopefully get to see it. Okay, take two my trusty Windows computer out in the workshop decided in its infinite wisdom that it didn't want to allow OBS to record the Sailey Logic Analyzer software. Therefore, to circumvent that, I had to come into the main de uh, desktop PC in my office, load um, OBS and Sailey on here. This is a Linux machine and guess what? It just works. Surprise, surprise. Now, so 
to get back to where we were. So what we have here for you folks is we have a one second capture using the Sailey Logic Analyzer uh, software. And what we have on the top channel is IPC CAN TX. So this is from the power conversion system back to the high voltage controller. And down here, IPC CAN RX, which is from the high voltage controller to the power conversion system. Now, uh, so when we started our capture, we were mid message here. So this is a lot of activity on this bus. Um, this is seeing something like 2000 frames per second. And this bus here, which I'm, you know, I'm, I kind of tend to call this the, um, I call this the kind of the return line and this the transmit line. That's not quite right, but that's how I tend to think of them. So if we just zoom out for a second here, you're going to see that there's a lot of frames coming from the high voltage controller here. Uh, and not many from the PCS. But what we do see are these transitions at certain times. Now, if we zoom a little bit in here, we'd see that each of these transitions seems to occur at the end of a message um, that is transmitted from the high voltage controller. Now, I got a good tip uh, from somebody uh, that suggested to me that these could be CAN acknowledgements. Now, I'm not quite sure how that operates. Um, I, I, I understand how the acknowledge bit works, but I'm not quite sure how it works in terms of what we're seeing here. Um, so if we zoom in a little bit here on this, let's zoom in quite a bit actually. We see that the what seems to occur if we zoom in a lot um, is that yeah this goes so this goes low and then this guy follows him. Hmm. Interesting. So the other aspect that we will observe here yeah if we go back to the start you will see that right to the start of the capture you'll see that it takes quite a few messages coming in before we get a, a me message back out now if we zoom in here we will see that oh we're in uh, decimal mode give me a sec here we should be able to change to hex there we go so what we will see here is that we send uh, message 76C, we can see can identifier uh, OX 76C, and we get 76C back um, on our, uh, back on our return line with the exact same data. So 2440 60 0080 um, 00 we get a CRC value and see even the CRC values match um, so that's how the IPC can looks uh, I have all these uh, captures up on the github for anyone that wants to see them and have a play with them. Uh, the Sailey software is completely free. Uh, you can download it uh, for Windows, Linux and Mac and uh, you can pretty much load in the capture and you can see uh, what we've got going on here. So this is definitely the weirdest CAN system uh, that I've seen. Um, but we can see here the way it, I nearly began to think of these as kind of synchronization pulses or something, but yeah, maybe not. Now, the other thing is that if I connect this 
IPC CAN RX to the receive input of an Arduino DUI with Savvy CAN or indeed indeed any you know CAN capture program on there, it will perfectly happily take in these messages and spit them out on the serial for me. But if I do the same for IPC CAN TX, it won't interpret these CAN frames. And I suspect the reason for that are these pulses are kind of fooling um, the CAN controller. So all these, you know, if they are acknowledges, they're somehow fooling the CAN controller. I have also tried uh, squirting messages back to the PCS on this bus and seeing if there's anything happening here. We don't seem to get any, uh, any activity. So I guess there is some kind of order or something that the messages have to be received in. So I'm going to have to look at that. Um, Ah, looking like a cup of tea. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out, I'm gonna have to go a bit deeper into this, um, but wanted to give you guys a look at it. I know this is kind of pure nerd stuff, but you know, nonetheless, it's what's interesting me at the minute. So this is what you're going to get a video of. Um, okay, I think that's, about it i uh, wanted to show that to you guys just so you could see um kind of progress that we're making here and what elon is doing to us which is weird can uh what are you doing elon hmm okay folks i leave you there um do if you want to you know play a, a along with me uh, let me know your thoughts on what we are seeing here. Uh, one thing I did think about doing is if I pop the CAN transceiver, obviously a 5 volt CAN transceiver across these lines, uh, would I get normal CAN, you know, CAN high, CAN low coming out? So that's something I might indeed do. Other thing I have to do is to have a better poke around in the high voltage controller to see what's pulling the strings in there so yeah okay i will cut it there guys thanks a lot for tuning in uh, we'll be back with our regularly scheduled programming soon links in the description to the usual suspects uh, patreon and paypal in case you want to financially support any of this craziness github will be there too for everything from designs and uh, can captures and whatever else i might be working on so that's it. Don't do anything too crazy. And until next time, um, happy Sailie logic analyzing. <laughs>